everyone. I'm glad you're joining us for Ron's birthday to view the final showing of his Celebration of Life video. A life that was lived to the fullest with a great passion for theater. Ron made a real difference through the lives of the people he worked with on and off the stage, and the significant impact made on Mass Avenue and Indy Theater deserves to be remembered. I want to take a minute to address the ongoing desire many of you have expressed about renaming the theater. While I certainly understand your enthusiasm and absolutely share your passion that Ron's contributions in Indianapolis be remembered and honored in a meaningful way, it was not Ron's wish that the theater bear his name. Ron's legacy is the shows he created, the stories and the memories, the connections and the actors, the friendships and the families made along the way, not the building. We've heard so many of you say Ron was tots, but that isn't how Ron saw it. In an article by Bill Brooks of the Urban Times about Ron and Brian's untimely passing, he recalls an interview with Ron where it was made clear that any suggestion that Theater on the Square was Ron Spencer's theater was off base. To quote Ron, it's never been a dictatorship, but the work of everybody who's ever worked there, Theater on the Square's productions have always been a collaboration. After researching what happened at Toss in the years since Ron's departure to retire in Puerto Vallarta, which we can all agree he so truly deserved, and was really made possible because of the inheritance that he received from his sister Shirley, it became apparent that the entire history of Tots was in real danger of being completely lost because there was no data on the Tots.org website. That's why we've invested our own money, and Heather and Bill have already invested hundreds of volunteer hours in locating and preserving the entire history. Building a website and an online chronological archive of theater on the square. As Ron said in his own words, we were all tots. He was the guide, the visionary, who made it all possible, and without him none of it would have happened, but it took each and every one of us over the years to help him bring it to life, just as it will take each and every one of us to make sure this cherished man lives on in ways that honor and respect his wishes. Thus why I founded the Ron Spencer Legacy Foundation, to honor his significant contributions to the growth of the arts in Indianapolis, ensuring his legacy as a pioneer of independent theater endures. We will do this by continuing to gather materials till we have created a complete history of TOTS. We also intend to establish physical memorials on Mass Avenue to honor Ron, and to create a grant program to benefit local theater groups seeking to stage performances consistent with Ron's vision. We all know the challenge Ron faced raising funds to keep the theater operational, which became even more challenging after being labeled the gay theater. Social justice may be the theme for 2020, but Ron used the stage to further that theme for decades. We implore you all to rally behind our vision of creating this Act Two for TOTS, to carry on the collaborations and connections that made amazing art possible. It costs real money to build this archive, to fund the theater grants, and to build a memorial in his honor. We can't do this without you, so please consider making a birthday contribution at ronspicerlegacy.org. Mm -hmm.